I really think I'm gonna regret making this video guys um, but just to disclose early on please know that I am not making any money off this video I have ads turned off and everything but I do want to talk about this because I'm a pretty big fan and supporter of the eSport industry um, any one of my long-term subscribers and viewers know this about me and whenever I hear something in the news in the gaming scene that involves a death or something like that it really does hit my heart heavy because gaming is supposed to be um, an activity you know you do to take away all the negativity and evil stuff that may be going on in life like even if it's just for a few hours playing video games can really get your mind off terrible events that may be happening in someone's life for me personally video games and YouTube have literally saved my life like I know that sounds silly but they really have but again you know you can really take your mind off the evil and negativity by playing video games with your friends whatever but when you bring that stuff into the gaming scene it's just I, I, I don't understand if you didn't hear about it yet there was a shooting unfortunately in Jacksonville Florida at a Madden 19 esports event live on Twitch 2 and uh, someone has apparently shot four people they are reported to be dead and then 10 are injured and again this is over a Madden NFL game a sports video game you know uh, these kids they're in like their early or middle 20s simply playing a video game literally that is all they're playing a video game and something like this happens to them at such a young age it's just it's it really is sickening to hear as an avid esports fan and a supporter a viewer um, sadly there is a video that is going around on the internet of the events that happen and uh, unfortunately I did see that video too it's very sickening if you do see it online then uh, viewer discretion is advised please uh, it just it's, it's just so sad I literally am at a loss for words right now like I said gaming is the activity you do to take away yourself from all the bad shit happening in life but it's it just so unfortunate somebody brings that into the scene, the industry here. Um, my prayers, thoughts, everything goes out to the families who were at the event and uh, the players who may have uh, suffered fatalities too. Again, my thoughts and prayers are going out to everybody affected by this event. It, it truly is just awful. I've seen a lot of pro players in the Call of Duty scene at least tweet out about the event. And they all say that esports events should have up their security, and uh, and I do believe it. I mean, I go to Pack South every year. It's in my city, and uh, I've noticed too that the security over there really isn't all that much. Like I've walked around the the event for hours, and I don't see any type of security guards. I don't see any officers there patrolling the area. Like, it, I really do think esports events should have tighter security for sure, especially after this event. Hopefully that's going to be a big wake-up call to everyone um, because, you know, like I said, just going to, the, to these events and hearing about the pro players um, talk about the security, it really does seem like it's not all that heavy or something. So you know, maybe it will be a big wake-up call to everyone. And, uh, yeah, I mean this type of stuff I guess does happen even in in video games even in the gaming scene um, it's it just so sad you can't really have anything nice around anymore without these sick people trying to take away um, the fun the enjoyment the excitement of everything I don't know but um, I have a tweet on screen for you guys from the Jacksonville Sheriff Office. They said one suspect is dead at the scene. Unknown at the time if we have a second suspect. Searches are being conducted. I'm going to leave the Jacksonville, Florida Sheriff's Office Twitter down below in the description for you guys in case you want to check back for updates on there. But out of respect for the people who have lost their lives and the families who were affected or the people who attended this event, I, I'm not going to be playing any video games for the rest of the day. I'm just going to be online maybe, um, but it's it just so sad to hear and see my Twitter timeline all talking about this event. And uh, so yeah, if you guys are out there, anyone that attends, you know, an esports event or, you know, pretty much just any type of public event, college, concerts, whatever, movie theaters, just be on your guard guys. Be careful because 
there are sick people out there who do want to harm you, who do want to harm many people. So just keep your guard up, guys. Be safe out there. I love you guys. And again, my thoughts and prayers go out to everybody affected by this event.